I'll try with this. No, I'm gonna do that. It's on live right now. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. <laughs> DJ Phil. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. Good, Good morning. morning. Rock here. Nancy here. What up, was up doing? with that song? Oh, I just, whatever. I put whatever. Put whatever. Yeah. Well, that's the way it is. It's a free show. We put whatever we want. It's our Cheers, show. Cheers, everybody. Holy moly. Cheers. That's a whole lot of creamsicle. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's fresh. Fantastic. Mm. Fantastic. Mm. How's, How's everybody, everybody doing? doing? Whoa, you owe me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Now, how is everybody doing? We're midweek. Oh my goodness. Hump day. Third week of the lockdown. Maybe we'll get some humping action here. What? Yeah. So yeah. third, third a... week of our lockdown? Is it third? Yes, it is it a third, is the third week, week of our lockdown. Okay. So we have, what, three more weeks to go? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we'll be in and here for the rest of our lives. We... <laughs> Don't you guys feel like a prisoner sometimes? Like you're like... 100%. Like, not like a, like a physical prisoner. I'm not talking about prisoner in your own mind that's another topic but like a prisoner you like a physical prisoner where you're like you have a stay-at-home order because you did something really but like you know those like we're grounded like yeah you're grounded but you know you have those ankle like ankle bracelet yeah ankle bracelet where like yep. if you go if you leave your house you exactly you can't like what is that house arrest house, house arrest, arrest. That's yeah what, that's what I, was I was waiting i was like she's gonna get it for sure yeah. <laughs> you can say so many words that eventually house all... arrest we're like on house arrest I'll let me tell you something like about a, this whole pandemic criminal? i'm gonna tell you something about this whole pandemic yeah. if it was really about health and public safety they would have banned alcohol tobacco fast food a whole bunch of stuff way long ago well if... i'm just gonna say that think about that yeah but at the same time those people who are like very addicted to those things uh i understand that that can kill them I mean, well, so can be, so can being house arrest, so can house arrest. No, I know. House arrest can I mean, kill a lot you know what? Too. Damn if you do, damn if you All do. All I'm saying is if it was really about health, they would have canceled alcohol, tobacco, fast food or they could 30 have maybe, years ago. They, they could would have, have said, well, this is no good. They, they could have maybe promoted something that's, <laughs> well, that's, that's just you know, saying, that helps just saying. us it's not about, boost our immune system. I don't know what it's about anymore. No, I don't know. Anyway. It used to be about something, but now I don't But know. this week, Anyways. we were really talking about how, you know, like we, we're not, we're not our parents. We're, we're not, not our parents. We are our lifestyle, our actions, our daily, our daily actions, our daily habits. And oftentimes when, yeah. when we're like, when we grow up with our parents, we inherit their lifestyle as opposed to inheriting their genes. And we do that 99% of the time. Yeah. Without even knowing. It's subconscious, of Now, course. you may not live exactly like your parents because you have your own personality. So, you're going to adapt or adopt your own flair, your own style yeah. to that. But at the core, it's going to be basically the same people. Yeah, exactly. The same kind of lifestyle. Yeah, and I think, like, it, I was fortunate enough to have different types of, like, I, could, I was able to be exposed to different, different kinds of families. Yeah. You know, I've been... I've been. I lived with my with my birth parents uh, mm -hmm. occasionally. I lived with the, you know like my foster mom uh, on More. a per, on a permanent basis, yeah. and then and then the occasional relief homes here and there. So I was able to really um, have a variety of, of different lifestyles, if you will. But of course, ultimately, it was really about um, like it was pretty much the same wherever I went. Like as far as like eating habits and uh, well, you have to understand too because they back then it's different. Yeah. It's not like, if you look at specifically small towns, a lot of the people are, are pretty much the same people. Where we grew up in, yeah. Yeah, where we grew up, like Sturgeon Falls. Yeah. A lot of the people are very similar. Like they, they eat the same things, they do the same things. There's, a, there's kind of like a flow. Small town mentality? A small town. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not yeah, saying anything yeah. wrong with that. Yeah. But there's kind of a flow there, right? That's so true. then everybody goes in their own directions, whether they stay in, in their hometown or they go in big towns, and they bring those habits yeah. most of the times with them. Yeah, because it's like a vibration, right? Like sure. it's like you're in that it's not, not in a... that vortex. It's like you and keep following the, the the herd, I guess. I am not suggesting that our parents are bad. No. Or your parents were bad. No, I'm not saying that. We do all the best we can with what yeah. we're given and what we're presented with. So yeah. sometimes we don't know what we don't know. Yeah, exactly. Right? There's, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I believe like... I, I don't think I was finished. It's okay. Well, yeah, you you, you say to me, don't out. cut me off. I thought you were done. Go well, ahead. You know, okay, go. I'm done now. Okay, well, I just... I believe that... that like I wanted to like kind of... Build. Build on yeah. that. Like when when you have the the knowing that your parents did the best they could with what they had and with, with where they were at... 
Um, you can no. you can really um, you can really appreciate that and and almost like forgive that part of your past, and then by forgiving that part of your past and understanding that you're then able to create your own life for yourself. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and you have to also understand that we're coming from a different place. Yeah. You know, true. if you lived in a family that was well adjusted, there was no abuse, there was a uh, steady kind of stability going on your whole life, you may be thinking to yourself, why are these guys talking about our parents? I had a great childhood. Mm -hmm. I had a great life. Yeah. And I'm not saying otherwise. No, no, exactly. But we're coming from a different perspective. Yeah. I was abused, sexually abused. She was abused. She was neglected, so there's a perspective that's different. Right, there's, right. We're coming from a different angle here. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Well, like, obviously, if, we're speaking from our own experience. Yeah, and if your parents were well adjusted, they they they, were, they supported you, they maintained a good household and whatever. Well, then this this may not apply to you. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. That's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I I actually forgot to tell you this, but I actually talked to my real parent, my, my real mom yesterday. You talked to your real mom mm -hmm. yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> So my, on the phone? Yeah, on the phone. So my my aunt uh, sent a message to my sister saying that my mom was really longing to talk to us. Mother's, uh, uh, Mother's Day is coming up. She lost her brother, like my uncle, and she's really feeling really sad and lonely and missing us really. And then as I saw that and I saw the number if, if we decided to, to call her, I said, you know what, I'll take massive action right here, right now. I pressed the, the number and I had a wonderful conversation with her. It was, she was blown away that I called and she was super like, she was like just emu, like if, you know. She was an emu. <laughs> she was emu, no, but she was very, she was very happy that I called and we had a, a wonderful conversation and uh, I just, because I've always, I never really, I n really never um, had resentment towards her. It, it was, because I understood that she, she was just suffering from mental health. She was sick. And she was sick and she's, you know, still sick and. And but the whole time, like I haven't spoken to her like in maybe ten years, and and it's not because I had resentment towards her. It's because I had to protect myself. You know, it was she. Has, she has a dark side. There's and, a bit of a dynamic there. Yeah, there's a. She has a dark side, and I needed to like protect myself. And um, yeah. And when you're strong enough, when you've done the work for so long, and in my case, yeah, uh, doing the work, yeah. and increasing your self worth, and yeah. having a great strong community. Uh, you're able to, you know, withstand like things that are like right. scary. Right. Your and mother certain. is very similar to my parents in the sense that, given the toxic history, when you start reconnecting with them, they feel like you're back their son and everything's good and you should be the loyal yeah. son and the, the, or, yeah. or the daughter or you should just I'm your mother. Yeah. I'm your father. You I'm should your, respect me. You should respect me. <laughs> Which the, I remember her saying that yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Th th my parents are very similar to that. They. Yeah when we started reconnecting, they couldn't understand, why can't I have your daughter by ourselves? It's like, well, hello. Yeah. I wouldn't let you hang out with her ever alone. Mm -hmm. It's the way it is. But they, they didn't lost grasp that privilege. They <laughs> didn't grasp that. And just like your mother didn't grasp the, the honest truth that she was very little your mother. Like yeah. she was your mother for like two or three years. And yeah. after that, she was somebody else. Off and on, yeah. Off and on. And to... to have that kind of mentality where you owe her the respect because she's your mother. Yeah. That just goes to show how ill she is. Yeah. yeah right. Exactly. She, they don't understand. Just yeah. like my parents, they don't understand. No, it's good, and it's good to us for us being aware of that. And oh yeah, well now I know. Ourselves 100%. From because it's not it's not like I'm not looking to maintain a relationship with her, but in that moment I just felt like compelled to call her and see how she is and wish her you well. Were, you were guided. I was guided and I felt like I, I wanted to really wish her well and yeah, that's a and, good thing and just, just good and just you know proud you. show her love and compassion and, and I felt good and I felt good about that and um, I told her like you know I'm in a really good place uh, I'm taking care of myself and my family and it's, it's really great and she's yeah she's really proud good so, yeah that's exciting that's exciting yeah so where do we go from here that's it that's it wrap it up that's it put okay. that dopey song again sure <laughs> As always, <laughs> we, we love, love you. We're Don't thinking about you. Much. Thank you so much Cold for showers. tuning in. You're not your we'll parents. see you guys this Fruits, morning. Uh, this morning, this afternoon at three. Come on. For my health coaching session.